Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. Uh, finally, a new diecast. We've done a lot of customs, a lot of older stuff, but today we are back in the class, or the, uh, I don't know what you call it. Anyway, we're back in the group of doing new diecast reviews. This one came in recently for me. Um, the diecast was actually released a long time ago, but the autographed edition recently came in. So, it is Harrison Burton's 2020 Fontana race win, his first career win in the Xfinity series. Here you see we've got the special autographed edition here. So there's our certificate of authenticity. Uh, Burton earns first Xfinity series victory. Joe Gibbs, racing driver, Harrison Burton, scored his first NASCAR Xfinity series victory by outdueling his teammate uh, at Southern California's Auto Club Speedway. The driver of the number 20 Dex Imaging Toyota Supra, Burton masterfully worked traffic in the closing laps to keep it to keep the competition at bay to the checkered flag. The 19-year-old rookie claimed the victory in just his 12th career start. Uh, so, yeah, big. I mean, better than what he was doing in the truck series. He didn't win a single one down there. Somehow he got a ride, up, ride upward. But uh, there's our winner sticker there. There's the red one there. And uh, this this truck or this car ended up looking pretty darn good. So let's take a look at the quick the box, and then we'll get on to the diecast. So got Xfinity Series, winner sticker, and then raced version there. This is the 2020 box style here. Uh, there you see a render of the car, Xfinity Series winner, 2020 race winner, one of 300 autographed editions. And on to the back, we've got the schedule, which was all sorts of wacky last year because none of those races ended up getting run on time, uh, including those Iowa races, which would have been fun, just saying. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So down the left side, this is actually a really nice car. So it's an all-white car. And you can see we have got rubber buildup and dirt kind of all around the front here. Um, a little rough over there, so there might be some finish issue. But you can see um, the dirt and stuff around the left front fender. You can see yellow lug nuts, um, tire markings. There's our number 20. A little bit of dirt as you go down the side. Black skirt down at the very bottom. We've got Dex imaging on the back here. Uh, you can see the rear tire. Actually, the left rear is a tiny bit shredded. Uh, so that tire has some extra detail to it. Uh, again, Dex imaging, ethanol ring, and you can see some streaks from the fuel running down. Uh, let's see up here. I think I popped that window back in. We got Harrison Burton, the winter sticker, and then not much else up there. Uh, you can see where the rear bumper attaches to the rest of the body because of that line there, uh, which is kind of neat uh, with the Xfinity cars. As you can really see how the body just kind of snaps together, which I hope is nice and cheap for them. So uh, we'll go ahead and look at the back. We got our rookie stripes back here. You can see some marks on that rear bumper. Dex imaging, number 20, Supra, Toyota, and uh, obviously we got the decals back there as well. We got Dex imaging on the deck lid, the clear fin, the tiny short spoiler. Din number is 122. You'll see on the roof, this reminds me of the Pocono wind from Casey Kane, but we got the the orange all over the roof here. That's got to be orange Gatorade. Um, and that's it's a little different because the Kane one's on a red car, so it's not as noticeable. This one's on a white car, so it's very noticeable. Got the Burton on the Xfinity banner. And there's his signature there. Onto the hood, we've got Dex imaging. You can see all the dirt on the front and the Gatorade towards the back. Um, you can see the uh, little piece of tape on the hood pins and whatnot, so trying to keep it nice and clean. Uh, you can see all the rubber buildup on the front of the car. It is Fontana, so uh, fairly big track, but it does still wear the tires out. On to the right side, you can see up here at the front, we got a little bit of the raced up, uh, you know, the rubber particles, but you also have a lot of the Gatorade. Get closer to the back, it's more of the rubber. Got our markings here on the wheel. You can see right down there um, the different numbers for the uh, for the Joe Gibbs cars. Number 20 again. And we got Harrison Burton on the rear window there. But um, only thing with this car uh, is it does have the opening hood. So um, the Supras, in my opinion, are not a very pretty car. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Supras. I think they're really pretty darn ugly. But um, there's our engine detail in there. You can see we got Mobile One and Toyota. And then we got the red valve covers. Or not valve covers. The... Um, yeah, valve covers. I got them right that time. Um, let me get our hood closed there. But um, yeah, the Super overall, it's it's not a super pretty looking race car. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the way the front end kind of looks all weird and kind of just goofy. But um, overall, it is a very solid first win. Uh, you don't have a ton of actual damage from the race. You just have kind of you know good good amount of rubber buildup and different markings and things like that. No no clear dents or donuts marks or anything like that. But uh, Still a very solid car, for especially for his first win. So, like I said, it's been a while this car's been out, but the autographed edition was was uh, a long ways behind the other ones. So, 
Um, that'll pretty much wrap up this review, though. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the notification bell if you're new, and, uh, or sorry, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Subscribe if you're new, and turn on the bell. Uh, that way you won't miss an upload. Um, this should kick off a whole week full of these, so, um, stay tuned. Make sure you have turned that bell on, because there'll be another new diecast review up tonight. We're going to do two per day until I get through, uh, most of these new cars that came in. So, uh, stay tuned. Make sure that bell's on. But this has been Race Graze. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.